Yes, time for a Boat Hang of the Day. All right, where are we going? You know what? We're going to the bingo hall today. Hey, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You will find my mom. Um, and mine. Um, here we go. His name is Fred Smith. He's our bonehead. He's, a, he's 82 years old. He's he, a viejito. He lives in a retirement community in Lake Wales, Florida. All right. Lake Wales, Florida. And why is he a bonehead, please Well, tell. last Monday night, he went to the weekly bingo game. Mm-hmm. You know, that's his routine. Yes, he it loves usually it. is. Uh, but when he went to sit down in his favorite seat, 88-year-old woman named Ethel had already taken it. <laughs> These bingo plan viejitos are serious about oh, the seat you know, where they always sit. You would sit. think, oh, well, he'll find another seat. But no, these people don't play. If That's got, their lucky seat if they've ever won there. Yes. You know how it is. If they've got a certain thing, they want it that way all the time. Or if they can hear the numbers being called really well in this particular seat or see them on the screen pop yeah. up, then don't you dare take it from them. So Fred said, hey, can I please have my seats? Because this is my seat. This is how we sit here. Thank you. Didn't have his name on it or anything, but it's just known by all the other right. bingo patrons. You know Ethel said, no, I'm sitting here now. and You could go find yourself another seat. Oh, this viejita didn't move. Mind you, Fred and Ethel go- are going at it. All Lucy. Shut up. I love it. <laughs> I hadn't even noticed. Fred and Ethel. Yes. So, of course, that made Fred angry. He's okay. like, what the hell? So what does he say to Ethel at this point or do? He's he just to ask. He stormed out. He grabbed an ice pick and used it to slash the tires on Ethel's van. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, take this, Biatch. He is cray cray. How did he even know what Ethel drove? He know. Oh, they know. Trust. They know. Ooh, you better warn your grandmas and your grandpas. They know. He was caught on a surveillance camera and got arrested on criminal mis- mischief. He might, he might have to pay five hundred dollars in tire damage and restitution to Ethel. Ethel. All over not being able to find just another seat yes. for that night. Mind you, there were plenty of seats there. Nope, he wanted his seat, but Ethel said, "Bye, Felicia." So he said, "Bye, Felicia." Went out. And she lashed her tires. There you go. Shut <laughs> up. They don't play. They don't play. Ethel is mad and is suing him. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, teach that be a hit a thing or two. Thank you. Mind you, here is Ethel and the deputy chief talking about what happened. Oh, my gosh. Yes. If somebody had told me that he would have done that, I would never have believed him. I didn't think anybody would be low enough to do that to my car because I didn't know I had any enemies in my life. But I thought everybody was my friends. <laughs> but undoubtedly, I got one enemy. But I didn't know it meant that much to him that <laughs> to do that to my tires. I'm not mad, no. I just, I would like to have my cars, my tires paid for. Because that took every dime I had in the bank. He knew what she drove as a result of them playing in the same bingo halls. Picked out a tool of choice, walked over to her vehicle, and punctured two tires. The man admitted to it when the officer told him what he was there to investigate. He was apologetic. He said he was embarrassed. He regretted doing it, but he took ownership of it and said that um, even in the embarrassment, he knew he had to face consequences. He owned it! He owned it. <laughs> hey, hey, Ethel, let this be a lesson to you. Move your ass out that seat. You better move. Of the day. Wow. How about Ethel's like, I didn't think I had an enemy. Undoubtedly, I got one now. I guess. Look at him. There he is. Look at him. He done went out the there. Slashed my tires. Oh, took out Ethel's van. Took out all the money I had in savings. <laughs> Except for that five hundred dollars uh, yeah. I won that night. Oh, thank you. How about? Oh, she got plenty of money for next week's bingo, though, thank don't you? you? What? Stop. Get over it, Ethel. You already won. Come on. <laughs> oh uh, no. Hey, Leo, you better warn your mama, and I'll warn mine. I'm telling you, if the old Hito says that's my seat, just give it to them. Move. You know what? I know you don't like sitting in the smoking section, but for just one night. Move. move! Get, Get out, out the way! Get, Get out the way! <laughs> Get out the way! Move, y'all! Uh, oh, no, ma'am. Wow. Oh, remind me never to go to bingo again. They get crazy, them viejitos. Not with Fred and Ethel. Bonehead of the day.